Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can get a CD like this onto your iPhone or your iPad like this. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make sure that iTunes is installed on our PC. So let's go to the computer. And what we're going to do is we are just going to open up iTunes. Now, if you want to know whether it's on your PC or not, click on the start button and just type on your keyboard iTunes. And as you're typing it under best match, if it's installed, it will come up. Left click once on iTunes. And then once it's loaded, what we need to do is we need to put our CD in the drawer of our CD drive on our computer or laptop. So let's pop that in, close it up. And with it closed up, let's go back to the computer. Might take a few seconds, but hopefully in a few seconds, we should see, there we go, the CD. And it will say, would you like to import CD? And it should give you the title of the CD. Move your mouse over, yes, left click once. Now this is now importing the CD onto our computer and into iTunes. This might take a little while, just be patient with it. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's finished importing. Okay, so it's nearly done ripping the CD or importing it into the computer. You can tell that because of all the little green ticks beside each individual track. Each green tick that's to the left of each track means that that track has been imported. And as you can see, the circle on number 15 means that it's currently being imported, that circle spinning around. And at the top of the screen there, it gives you a rough idea of the time remaining to import that particular track. So it's nearly there. It's nearly at the end. It's saying 10 seconds left to go. And uh, that figure incidentally in brackets after it is the speed that it's actually importing at 11 times the speed of it would do if, if it was playing. And there you go. It, when it makes that noise, it's done. So what we need to do is the next thing we need to do is we need to plug our iPhone in. So we grab our charging cable. I'm just plugging that end into the phone and the other end into the computer. And let's go back to the computer. So on the computer there, it says, do you want to allow this computer to access information on this iPhone? So yeah, I want to click continue. And then what I want to do is I want to go back to the phone and we've got here on the phone, trust this computer, your setting and data, your settings and data will be accessible from this computer when connected wirelessly or using a cable. So yep, yeah, click on trust or tap, I should I say trust on the phone. Let's go back to the computer. And as you'll see here, it says to allow access, please respond on your phone. So back to the phone again, and uh, it's going to ask for face ID. So let's just try that again. And no, it didn't work. So it's going to ask for my phone's code. OK, so I plonked in my phone's code back to the computer. And because this is the first time I've plugged the phone in to the computer, it's saying here, do we want to restore from a backup? Well, no, I don't. I'm just going to click on set up as new iPhone. Don't worry about this. We're not going to do anything untoward. So set up as new iPhone, click continue. And, and we've got here sync with iTunes. You can use iTunes to sync music, TV shows and more to your iPhone. Now I've just noticed on my phone, it's come up asking trust this computer again. So I'm just going to type in my code back to the computer. So let, let's just click get started. OK, and then what we want to do here is click on music just over there on the left and then put a tick in sync music. And we've got options here. We can sync the entire music library. So that is basically syncing everything that's in here. Let's click on the phone just up there to go back to it and then go back to music again. So yeah, I'm OK to do that. Or if you want to, you can click on selected playlists, artists and albums and just import certain albums or certain genres just by putting in a tick next to the album you want or the genre you want. But uh, the easiest thing to do is sync the entire music library if your iPhone has the capacity to do that. So once you've done that, just literally click on apply and it says at the top there preparing to sync and now it's copying. As you can see, it's copying it pretty quick. So we're already 13 out of 15, 14, 15 and they go done. OK, so once it's done, just click on that eject just there 
And then what we do is we want to go back to our phone. We can unplug the phone from the computer and let's just turn the phone on and go back into it. And then we want to find this icon just here, the music icon. So it might not always be there, but mine is tap on that. And if it says welcome to Apple Music, tap on continue. And it says here, hear about music first. If anything comes up like this, I always say not now. Let's decide later. And there we go. Under recently added, we've got their 60s gold, which is a full track listing of everything that I just imported from the CD. Now, unfortunately, I can't play any of these tracks simply because I don't have the license to be able to do that. But believe you me, I'm going to just try it here. I'm going to have to mute the sound, unfortunately, mute my microphone before I do this. Uh, but believe you me, this will play. So let's just tap My Girl, The Temptations. Yes, it is playing. I can see there we've got a little equaliser going next to the uh, actual track name. So I should say, once you've copied these to your phone, don't delete them from iTunes or your computer because the next time you plug your phone into your computer, if you've deleted them, they will wipe off the phone. And make sure that you keep the original CD too, because when you haven't backed up your computer, which I know none of you do, and your computer goes wrong and you have to reload your music again onto your phone, then at least you've got the CDs to be able to shove them into your computer, to reload them into iTunes, to get them across to your phone. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help Help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.